Hi friends, welcome to my channel Sashi Ari Works. We are uploading regular videos on Ari Embroidery. If you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified. Hi friends, how are you all? And uh, I hope you saw my previous video of 20 basic stitches of Ari Embroidery. I have made it into three parts. Uh, so I have in that video, I just posted the basic uh, stitches, uh, basic embroidery stitches that I used. And I will be posting the, uh, many of you have asked me for the Zadosi stitches also. Uh, I'm just working on it. I will be posting that Zadosi and uh, advanced stitches also very soon. Uh, now today in this video, I'm going to share you how to make mark a blouse uh, for uh, RE embroidery so this uh, we have just uh, five simple measurement is enough to mark uh, the blouse for RE embroidery uh, it's very simple and this uh, this marking is not used for stitching your blouse so this particular measurement which I'm going to take today is only to mark on your blouse to uh, start the design because we should know how to where to start uh, uh, the neckline where to start the sleeve and how where to stop so for that purpose only we are just marking this one uh, what we'll do is we will take a we will just uh, take a blouse and then mark it on a chart paper and cut it like this and then uh, using this as a stencil we will be placing it on the blouse and then we will draw the outline so using this uh, outline as a reference we will be putting our design so that is what we are going to do it today uh, so we need uh, for the marking this blouse we need only five measurements it's very simple so let's get started So let's get started now. I have taken a blouse like this. So while you are uh, taking the measurements, make sure that you don't take heavy blouses because it will be really difficult to mark uh, to get the you know points and all. So you can take a simple blouse or simple cotton blouse which is perfect for you will be. Uh, you can take that itself. That is more than enough, and you have to iron it and keep it. Iron it and keep it. Keep it trim. Now first thing, the first. Uh, step is going to be the width of your blouse so to measure that so you can see this is the end point of my chart so place the blouse over here and then stretch the fabric and then hold this point hold this point and mark it using a pencil so this is going to be our width the step one is going to be width of your blouse now step two we are going to find out the height of this blouse for this take your inch tape place it at the bottom just stretch the fabric little bit and then you can see here it is around 12.75 so this point uh, here is the stitch over here shoulder stitch you have to measure that point up to that point uh, so it was around 12.75 uh, or what you can do is just this is my uh, shoulder fold it and then fold it over here stretch the fabric place it over here so this will also give you the height of your uh, blouse so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark this point so we have found two, uh, two uh, points so far one is the width and the second one is the height now we are going to proceed on to our third point which is going to be the shoulder for that as you can see I have placed the blouse and make sure it doesn't move so now 
you can just hold your finger at this two point one is this corner and the other is going to be your uh, armhole now just mark that point you have to mark the point exactly where the stitch is you need not need, uh, leave any extra spaces the extra spaces will be done only for stitching the blouses so that measurement is different and this measurement is different and this is used only to make uh, re embroidery and not for stitching purpose you are just going to mark the ready lines over here so this will give you a shoulder uh, that is the third point now i'll be showing you the fourth point which is going to be the armhole for that you have take out the first sleeve like this hold this point and then you have to open the sleeve just do it slowly and stretch it now you will see a point a line a stitch connecting your body and your sleeve so at that point you have to mark it so this is going to be our fourth point which is the armhole now last point is going to be our neck depth so you can see over here you can either mark exactly the same thing or you can if you want low neck you can uh, adjust accordingly for high neck or close neck the uh, measurement will be a little different i will be posting that in my future video while i do work for high neck blouses or something but now uh, this simple for this type of neck we will i'm just marking exactly where the neckline is for this particular blouse if you want you can increase or uh, decrease one inch or uh, you can plus or minus one or two inches based upon your design so this is the fifth point so we got our fifth point now what i'm going to do is just measure this point two and point three so it is around uh it is in between or uh, 2.25 and in between 2.5 so in between that there is a point what you have to do is you have to take the same measurement bring it down to 0.5 and then mark it now we will be joining this point and then from here to here so it will give a rectangular shape i will just draw uh, so now I'm just placing the fabric back just to mark this armhole what you have to do is place your finger uh, on the stitch open up and then mark that point using your pencil same way you can just mark the remaining portion So I have got the points like this and I have joined point 1 and 4 then I have joined the shoulder line and then on this point 5 I have marked to this point uh, to get the neck shape so you will see a triangle. Oh, sorry you will see a rectangle shape over here you, this portion is where you draw your neck shape uh, so if you, you can just draw any shape you can draw u shape or anything using in this space we will be drawing it so now i'm just going to join the armhole so now i have joined all the points and i have joined the uh, armhole also now you can just cut out this area uh, you can just cut on this line and take this chart paper so this will be acting as your stencil you can just place this directly on your blouse and then you can make the marking so if you want this is going this will give you only one half of the back blouse this is this measurement is for back blouse and if you want a full measurement say like this full blouse like this then what you have to do is you have to just fold the chart paper into two and then you have to cut it down uh, you have to mark and cut it down or uh, you have to uh, 
place the one measurement on your fabric and then mark it and then fold the fabric and tap the other side so i will be showing uh, how to do that while i mark uh, this particular uh, you know this particular uh, pattern on my blouse i'll be showing you how to do it uh, if you find that to be little complex then you can just fold the paper and then uh, take the stencil like this which this will be very really easy you have to just place it and then mark the outlines and this uh, lines are ready to stitch lines so you need not leave any extra spaces for stitching uh, you can just directly mark it on the blouse and you can straight away start the your stitch like zari thread or golden ball whatever it is you can just start from the first line itself you need not leave any extra spaces uh, that one you can also uh, if you are going to stitch it outside if you are going to give it to a tailor or someone you have to inform it already so now i'm just go going to proceed on with my how to mark the sleeves for this uh, my chart paper is folded in this way this is the folded portion now take your sleeves take your blouse and place it in this way just make sure that all the both the stitch lines from this point both the stitch line coincide with one other so you have to place it like this this is going to be your hand so now the height you're going to find two points in this only there is three point one is going to be height of your uh, sleeve the other one is going to be the width and then the armhole point only three points in sleeve so this is so you as you can see here is the marking of the here is the stitch uh, that is joining your body and your sleeve just mark that point this will give you the height of your sleeve and this is going to be width of your sleeve just mark this point over here it is going to be a width and then uh, for this armhole just as we did just stretch it and then mark it over here then like the previous one what you have to do is you have to hold your finger over here and then you have to uh, mark these points just uh, the same which we did already you are going to follow the same thing just place it over here open the sleeve and then you have to mark it so this is the armhole over here now just join uh, join this point and this armhole point I'll just mark and show you how it will look like so this is how it will look after marking you have to just cut it across the, over the line and then you will get the sleeve measurement and uh, this uh, pattern so far which we have done so far is just a rough measurement only just to know how to uh, uh, this measurements we are doing just to uh, for our awareness like where to start the RE work and where to finish so if you have in fact all if you have any doubts and if you are a beginner if you don't have any knowledge about tailoring it is always uh, I suggest you to get a help from your tailor you can just ask them and tell them that you are going to practice some you know re work and they will definitely help you uh, in uh, measuring this one you can just ask them to measure it on your blouse and then you can directly start off the work or if you want to uh, learn about this measurement you can just mark it on your blouses and you can uh, verify with your tailor whether your marking is correct or not so they will just give you uh, some tricks or help and uh, they will also uh, tell you some easy methods they might have some different methods so you can just learn it from them also so this is so far we have done for the neck and the uh, sleeve and for the front neck it is going to be the same glass we did for the back neck only the neck measurement uh, the depth of the neck for the front neck will be uh, 5 inches or 4 inches depending upon your measurement blouse so that is the end
uh, I will, we will just uh, cut out this portion and uh, you can just uh, mark it in your in a thick cardboard or in a chart paper and save it for your future so whenever you are working on your blouse you can use this as a stencil and mark it and you can just start off with your work directly so this is the end of this video in my next video i will be showing you how to uh, place these chart paper on your blouse and how to mark it and then start your work out so if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe also if you have any work or any doubts please post me in the comment box thank you so much thanks for watching hi friends i would like to introduce my brand name called sashi backstock where we are selling re embroidery bridal clutches and portlies uh, you can customize your clutches in any shape any color with us uh, we are specialized in name clutches also you can customize your name and the bride and groom name can be customized uh, in the clutches in any shape and any design so if you want to know if you want to know more about these you can just follow my uh, instagram page sashi backstock or you can check out my facebook page sashi collections where we we have lot of collections in box clutches and in uh, regular clutches and we also welcome resellers so please do check out and thank you so much